What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So today we're going to talk about how we can use the Move tool to create copies of objects between two points. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So you can see what I've got here is I'm basically modeling a handrail. So I've got vertical pickets, I've got almost like an aircraft cable type piece in here that I have in here as a component and then I have a top rail. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the move tool to create copies between a couple different points in order to finish off our rail. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this object using the move tool. So to do that you're going to select your object, you're going to tap that M key to activate the move tool, and then you can see how for right now it's just moving this object around. What I want to do is tap the control key to activate copy mode. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag a copy of this all the way up to the top here. And there's a reason that we're going to do that. So for right now just uh, drag a copy of this all the way up to the very top just like this. And then without clicking on anything else then hit the divide key and then type in a number like three. And so when you do that, what that means is that's going to create three copies of this object equally spaced between this point and this point. And you can see how I haven't clicked on anything yet. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to type in divided by five and hit the enter key. So you can see how now that creates five copies. And so this works a lot like the multiply option works with the move tool. So as long as I don't touch anything else, I can keep coming in here and hitting divided and typing numbers and I can add as many or as few different objects in here as I want. So if I go back to divided by 5 or divided by, I'm going to go with 10 right now. So now I've got my 10 copies in here. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to erase this top copy just like this. So you can see what that did is that gave me all the strands of my uh, aircraft cable um, handrail here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing with the pickets. So in order to do that you're just going to use the move tool and click on this top corner and do the same thing. Hit the control key to turn copy mode on and then I'm going to move this down the green axis just like this. So hold the shift key to inference to that green axis and then you can see how I've got kind of the thickened ends of my aircraft cable wire in here. I'm just going to hold the shift key when this is on the green axis to lock it to that axis and move my mouse over the end of one of these just like this. So you can see how I can uh, lock to the green axis and then use you can use your mouse down here below to lock to one of these points and then go ahead and click. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to type in divided by four and hit the enter key. And so you can see what that does is that creates four equally spaced copies of this line. You can type in divided by five to add more or divided by six depending on how you want to do that. So you can come in here and very easily make those copies in this way. So and this will work for pretty much any object um, as long as you uh, use the move tool and give it a point and then hit divided and hit the enter key. You can create as many or as few copies between points as you want to create. So anyway that's where I'm going to wrap up today's SketchUp quick tutorial. Uh, leave a comment below let me know what you thought. Do you have any ideas on how to use this? Um, have you used it in the past? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Uh, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.